Dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods of seven. Guys, I can't explain how like exciting this mod pack honestly is. Like, there's so many things coming out for this mod pack. Like, we are on version uh it doesn't say I think we're on version like dot seventeen now. There's a dot nineteen, but we don't have support of it just yet. But it is a very cool, like we have uh lots of mods now. If we go like this, look at that, 102 pages. Now a lot of these pages are just like chiseling bits, but we have a lot of pages. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into what we're talking about today, which is going to be the like mass production of gold and iron. We're gonna go ahead and figure that out, fi fix it for the rest of the mod pack, hopefully. So we will see how that goes. Now we have the long process of crafting these, which is actually going quite good. All right, and so you might be going, hey, why do we have six of all of these? Well, we're going to be setting up We are going to be setting up 15 bees, 15 iron bees, 15 gold bees. It's going to be ridiculous. So we need a lot of these. So we're going to have three, three for each, uh, and you can have five bees in there. So 15 iron bees, 15 gold bees. It's going to be ridiculous. Like we're going to have so much. It's not even funny. And we're also going to be processing it today so that is the focus of our uh, video today you might have noticed from the title uh, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get some deep slate because that's gonna be kind of the inside and i don't have <clears throat> any calcite uh, bricks set up yet if we come over here you can see that these are all grown which is good so we can go ahead and make our first set um, we really need to find a way to automate that. Um, but yeah, if we go, let's see, where is it? Yes, here we can get 20 calcite. Very cool. That'll be the floor for our building over here. But this is going to be our massive bee and, oh my goodness, massive bee and some other thing producing. And I'm thinking that, that looks pretty good. Um, so this will go up one, two, so... Does that look right? Nope, needs to come down by one. Okay. So that's what we're going for. The top one won't be there. Or we might have a beam go across the top, but then we're going to have one set of bees in here. Um, now, because I don't have the block that I want, so there's going to be glass here, so it'll be inset. Um, so it'll be one, two, three, two, three, and then... Like so. Actually, no, this needs to be one block further out. I lied. Okay, and so then the walls will go up. Whoops. All right, and then the beehive will be at the back here. So we need the oak beehive and then the expansion box. And that, if we look, has five slots for bees. And the cool thing is we can go ahead and take this area here and convert these all into iron blocks so that the bees can be a working. Um, so we're going to have, hmm, I think we'll have the storage drawer for iron right here. But I don't know how we're really going to do that. <gasps> I've just thought of a way. Okay, so check it out. So we're going to have a compacting drawer here with all of our iron in. And then we're going to go ahead and hit that. We'll go ahead and lock that in later. Uh, but I also discovered we have feral um, flare lanterns back, uh, which will allow us to place this down here, and it will light up everything for us, which is amazing. Oh, here we go. Okay, and so then we also have connecting glass here which is something pretty neat it connects kind of like optifine and bam um i think it might be good to place this here instead yeah because that'll have all well i don't know actually we'll, we'll leave it here for now we're going to put a uh, drawer connector down below and that will allow us to move items in and um look at how many items are here so we'll just all insert them into that cool 
So this is good. Um, we need to set up the bees to be moved into here, uh, which is something we can do very easily, maybe. Okay, so we're going to be using pipes for this, which means we can just go ahead and pull out of the back there. Um, so the bees and all of that will be there. I don't know. Uh, you know, we might try to do something with... Um, getting some of the honey out of here because if we fill this up with glass bottles uh, it will produce honey and then we can pull those out and get those into our system uh, so this is good this is very good we'll go ahead and do some clearing out down here so that we can really get this moving all right so we've got a little space cleared out here uh, we're gonna take this down probably just bring that around when we when we're ready um, but yes, we need to get, because they're going to be the hive. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get it right into the centrifuge. So we can put the hunt, or the comb, sorry, not the hive. But the combs will go into there. We'll have to get this power, which won't be difficult. And then, well, that's where we'll have the items split. Uh, now we probably need to get a little bit of resources in here already so we can test this out. So I'm going to go get some of those items. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have one of these be set to a drawer that's a locked with wax. And so all the wax go here. We'll go ahead and get a void upgrade for this drawer. So like after it gets to a certain point, it'll just destroy the extra items. Um, and so then we can take this like so. We'll pull the items directly from the bottom. Um... And we'll have to go to a smelter. Um, okay, so this will go directly into the electric blast furnace, and this will be for um, like the the iron and stuff like that. We can take the honey generator and put this in the front. Um, get that out of there. This just relies on honey. So we'll need to put the bottler very close. Um, yeah, but we need some fluid pipes. I forgot to grab those. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out real quick. I think we're kind of doing stuff. Um, I have no idea what, that, what I meant by that. Okay, so honey generator here. We will put some honey in it. That will power this, allow it to work. Does it need to go directly down for the bottler to get it? So the honey is in it, um, but what about if we put it over here, like on the right side of it? Uh, let's give it a couple more combs. Okay, so it does. If we do it directly to the right, it does give us honey in there. Perfect. That is a great... Um, all right, that means we can pull those items out of the bottom. Like that shouldn't pull out the iron. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so this has to insert from the top. So that has to be there. That means we can sneak some power around to the right uh, over here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we do have some energy cables here. Okay, this guy's just straight out of power. All right, we can get him recharged. Hmm, okay, I need to do some... Oh, okay, now we are getting power down here. Okay, that took a minute. That was kind of odd. Um, okay, but this is getting power. Now, can we just pull out from the front? I don't know. I don't have an extra slot. Okay, we also need to work on how to get... The honey bottle and this to cooperate. Now, we do have two sides, the top and the back, on both of them. Uh, so we're going to have to do some fun stuff here. This is going to be great. Okay, so I think I got it set up here really good. Um, so if we go ahead and put a bunch of the honeycombs into the centrifuge, check this out. Um, so we're generating honey. That goes over here. Honey, uh, we get enough honey over here. That comes over here, fills up this with honey, which gives us power. And then we've got a little system here that pulls 
the empty bottles out here and pushes them into the back of the bottler. And then once the bottles are done, right, they're filled with honey, uh, we have this system here, this little item pipe that takes it out and then puts it into this guy. Um, so now it's recycling power. As soon as we get the honey, it's being put over here. And that's super duper neato. So it's actually self-sufficient at this point which is fantastic. And then we also do have some power being generated here for our uh, electric blast furnace. We're not going to go ahead and process this up, though I have heard that if you mix these together in a uh, like the mechanical mixer and basin from Create, we can go ahead and actually, it doesn't take any durability. So we might look into this. It's just going to make it a lot more complicated. Um, but I mean, we're doubling our efforts. So not a bad idea. And then it gets processed here and gets taken out and put straight into the um, compacting drum. Now, the cool thing is we can go ahead and actually lower um, and keep this in the same spot. Uh, but we'll put a drawer uh, connector below here on this block and then put the drawer controller here. And so we'll be able to have in this block square here, uh, we can have it uh, pumping items right into our system. And then on this block here, uh, we can have it being read by our uh, storage system. So we'll be able to see the items and be able to access them and you know continue to automate it. But this is the, the whole process for this. And the cool thing is that uh, it's very easy for us to replicate this going up. Uh, more than likely, we'll, we'll turn this side here uh, into the input and then over here the like or this will be the the comb side and then over here will be the bottles and we'll find a way to get this automated uh, you know get us some more power maybe set up a storage drawer with bottles or something on that uh, but yeah this is working out fantastic uh, we no longer have to touch it and then the items are getting put into here we just give it a void upgrade maybe another upgrade to have a little bit more wax on hand uh, but put a void upgrade in here and we won't have to worry about the wax overflowing and you know wrecking the system. Okay, so we're setting up the second floor here. Uh, I don't know how we're really gonna make it look good. I might do something a little interesting here. I don't know, we'll make it look, I know we'll make it look good eventually, but we'll have to put some more glass here. Uh, but the inside of this is almost good. We just gotta kinda sneak around to the back. Let's go ahead and do this. Where are you at? There you are, perfect, that's the perfect height. Okay, so this side is the input. We will receive items from here, like the combs. Um, and then over here is going to be the pushing in of the bottle. So we'll go up here and like this, and then we'll go like that. Okay. There we go. That's pretty simple. So as soon as we get bees and glass on here, this will be automated, um, which is great. And then now we can go ahead and put some more iron blocks here uh, for the bees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. And then we will be breeding these bees up kind of crazy. Whoops, I am placing blocks in the wrong spots. All right, so advanced oak beehive and then the expansion box. Perfect. All right, and then we just need this little area. I'm using blackstone for the top. I don't know why. I think it looks kind of neat. And then we can kind of do this. And once we get glass, we can go ahead and fill it in. Okay, and now we need to kind of just sneak around to the back. Right here, we can break this block. Okay. So again, this is the oh, one too low. I want this to be very consistent going up. All right, this is coming in. And this is pushing the bottles in. All right, so if we take a look, yep, you can see those signs never connect anywhere, which is amazing. And all of these have been set correctly. Yep, push, 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 push. Beautiful. All right, so how are we looking from down here? Man, that's gonna look good. That's gonna look really good. Hello, was someone there? Okay, so all we need to do is start putting bees in here. Uh, and the good thing is they can only enter from the front, but we do have the sides and kind of even the back blocked off. Um, but I need to go ahead and grab some more of these 
honey boys over here so that we can go ahead and make some temporary bee cages and kind of snag all of the bees out of there. So super easy, you know, just the the, the wood and the, the, the bee cages. That's all we got. That's all we need. Cool beans. Oh, this is gold. Uh, I don't know what happens when you break the productive bees uh, beehive. Oh. Maybe this will be easier than I thought. <gasps> they just stay in? Oh my goodness. We can just swap them out? This is going to be great. I'm out of glass, though. <laughs> don't want to lose that stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without losing any bees. It would be optimal, but if we do, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and break the bottom one because... Yeah, we want to keep the oak expansion box there, but bam, like this. Oh, no. All right, so the bees are there. The bees' knees. Okay, all of them are in there. Very good, very good. Um... Hmm. What you doing in there, Skippy? What seems to be the issue? Why don't you come on out? Uh, maybe let's go down there and have a look. Oop, okay, they are producing combs. Very good, but... Why isn't it taking it? Oh, that, that unconfigured itself. If I do one of these, yes! Okay, it is taking it out. Perfect. I was kind of worried there for a second. All right, those get put into there. Beautiful. We've got honey being produced. I might add in a few more bottles here just to, for some backup of power. But this is now automated, ladies and gentlemen. That is so stinking cool. We can't get out the cool way. Okay, but yes, now we have iron. You know, we had it auto. Well, it's actually like fully automated now, which is amazing. Uh, but we do have some upgrades we can put into the bee combs here, which is good. And I also need to find a way to breed them. Um, obviously, breaking in the side is going to be our best bet. But just because, you know, who wants to do that anyway um but yes bees have been moved over very cool i'm gonna put gold on the opposite side uh actually i don't know what i'm gonna put on the opposite side we, we need to have the one that we really need because i don't think that like diamonds will need three of them and emeralds will need three like i don't think we'll need one uh but iron is in so many different mods um that we're using it's very important to have so that's why i think we should do it that way all right, so we got some pretty cool things going on here. So over here, honey generator, right? I haven't added any more bottles yet because this is keeping up pretty good, um, which is nice. And then over here, the oak drawer, I did go ahead and put a void upgrade here. Uh, so it destroys the access items. And then I also put ahead a, I went ahead and put a gold upgrade in here. So we have eight times the normal storage. So it's good. Um, we're going to have 256 stacks of the, the wax here, which is, you know, plenty more way more than that i probably don't even need the upgrade here um but it's good to have you know just so we can have extra power or be able to smelt things on hand whenever we want to and then over here i went ahead and moved all of the iron combs here um so that we can go ahead and start you know processing them um so these are coming out the back it's really good which means it might uh might, might actually back this up not too sure yet haven't run into any problems like that um but yes Everything is working fantastic. It looks good. Very simple. Uh, but now we need to just go ahead and breed up the bees. And I also want to go ahead and put the speed upgrade on the middle guy here. That's one we made a couple episodes ago. We're going to go ahead and have two of those. Um, these upgrade speeds. Um, might switch up to this. The upgrade of productivity. But it is a bit expensive. We need these draconic chunks. We need that from Draconic Combs, and we need that from Draconic Bees, and we get that from Obsidian Nest. Yeah, I think this is a end-only bee, if I'm sure. Yeah, for the bees living in the end. So, unfortunately, we have to fight the dragon, which is something we need to do here very, very shortly. Because um, getting Ender Pearls is going to be very vital, 
But yes, this is going to be our tower. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this off camera. You know, it's really easy just to add the, the other two up here. Um, but then I'll do a lot of breeding. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.